In this lecture we are going to talk about personal protective equipment and this is the safety equipments that we need to use and to wear before we start any maintenance work. So this is for our safety and protection in case of an hazard or accident occurs. So the personal protective equipment is used to minimize exposure to hazards that cause serious injuries and illness in the workplace. So the first personal protective equipment is the head protection or helmet and for electrical it is used the class E and it protects against falling objects, impacts and also protects against high voltage in the range of 20,000 volts or 20 kilovolts and the next is the eye and face protection and this protects against chemical splashes, blood or sprays, intense lights, dust and other flying particles and also when you're cutting metals you need to use this place and the next is the hearing protections so we use this to sound 180 decibels for arc blasts. When there is an arc, the sound is about 180 decibels. And also for fans running, for transformers operation noise and circuit breaker closes and opening operations. And the next is the hand protection. And the hand protection must be insulated. The first one is the... 1 kV protection gloves so if you touch a 1 kV with these gloves you will be protected but a higher value to 1 kV you will get electrocuted and this is a medium voltage gloves used for voltage until 66 kV so the gloves protects against electrocution, skin absorption cuts, punctures, chemical burns, thermal burns and extreme temperatures. And the next is the foot and leg protection and this protects against electrocution impacts in the front of the boots. We have a metal part that will protect if a falling object falls into your boot and the electrocution is protected by this solid part of the boot. The bigger this solid part, the better the protection and the higher the voltage that this boot will be isolating and the boot will isolate you to the ground also this boot protects against compressions, cuts, chemicals and temperatures and the next is the body protection we have here two different body protections the first is, the, is a simple clothes with reflection and the reflection is important because if you are in the dark when someone places a light to you this will create a reflection and you can be seen in the dark so the next one is used for protection in high voltage sectioning and when you are opening disconnectors in medium voltage these clothes will protect you against arc blast because they are made with some material that will not bar so the clothes will protect you against arc flash, electrocution, cuts and also heats. And one of the most important is using insulated tools because these tools will also guarantee that in the parts that you are touching you will not be directly contact to the active part of the circuit. So you always touch in the yellow and red parts and avoid touching in the metal parts because the sparse will be in contact with the circuit.